in the money. Now out of the money, again, if we look at that for July 16th of AT&T, out of the money put option is almost exactly, again, the opposite of a call option. Anything below the price of the underlying stock, anything that's under $42 and, and 61 cents here, is going to be out of the money or worth nothing, really. Most stocks expire out of the money, about 80% of them or something like that. So it's a pretty good bet that they're going to expire out of the money. Not necessarily always, of course, but generally speaking, they do. And what does that mean for you? It depends on what your, what your plan is and what your understanding with stock options and so forth and what you want to do with them to make money from that. If you sit there and say, okay, I want to buy this one, it's out of the money and it expires, it means that you don't have to exercise it. It means that they don't buy it from you. It means that you make a premium if you're the, if you're the seller. You make so much money for owning that that you give them the option to buy it. It's just like a lease option on a house, for example. They pay you so much rent or so much per month to be able to buy it. If they decide not to buy it when it comes due for the lease, and you still have that money that you had already been paid. Same idea with the call options and the stock options and put options and so forth. But in this particular case, an out of the money put option, like I said before, is anything under the price, the strike price is anything under 30, or under 42 rather, it means it makes no money, it has no, no real value, and therefore you have no real intrinsic value in it, you have no money available for it. That's an out-of-the-money option, essentially. And what that really means is that the quicker the, it's going to lose value, the quicker, it's going to lose a quick value, the quicker the price comes to being that date. In other words, the closer it is to the expiry date, like this is a couple of days away from now, this is a week from now, the closer it is to the, the date, the less its value it is. If you notice, there's nobody bidding on some of these that are really close. There's no bids at all. There's nothing. They're all zero. That's because they're not worth anything. If you notice something over here, the bids are two and three cents each. That's two and three cents is per share. 100 shares minimum. And one cent, two cent, three cent. That's because they know there's nothing of value. Okay, so let's get a 